I normally don't show bathrooms <laughs> in a video, but I just went to the bathroom, and because this is an um, older building that's been restored, they try to keep a lot of the original fixtures, or they try to keep the fixtures um, when they redo it kind of similar to the old school style. So the bathroom is very old school, and I wanted to show you. Hi, we're Crystal and Candy of Travel Pockets. We're sisters who are half American and half Japanese, and we love to travel the world in style. We grew up as military brats, so we're used to moving from place to place. That's why we love traveling so much. Dos, tres, cuatro. I'm Kanui. We post videos weekly and would love for you to subscribe to our channel. Follow us along on all of our adventures. This is one of the hotel rooms where you have to put the key in here and that way all the lights will come on. So it's to help conserve energy. I like it when the hotels do that. This building itself is over a hundred years old. So a lot of the fixtures um, are original, um, but of course they've also updated a lot of things too. I really like the bathroom. Um, <laughs> The one thing I really like about, about the bathroom is the door. I've never seen like a door like this in a hotel. Uh, I just I just like that it's black and I don't know. It just looks really cool to me. The shower is a uh, really good size. There is no bathtub, just a shower, which is fine with me. I rarely ever take baths in a hotel. Um, it's got like the nice rainfall shower head. Um, I also like that they use uh, the big bottles of shampoo and conditioner. I hate getting those little bottles in hotel rooms because it's never enough shampoo and conditioner for me because I have so much hair. I like how they also kept, you know, some of the um, vintage vibes to it. So when they restored it, like obviously that's new, but it still has like that vintage vibe. Um, there's a toilet. <laughs> it's like a small little area. <laughs> Plenty of towels. Um, this is actually heated, so it can heat towels. So it's actually pretty hot, so be careful when you touch it. <laughs> I do like that it's super bright in here. I do not like hotels where it's super dark, so they give you plenty of light for us ladies who like to do our makeup in the bathroom. I also like the magnifying mirror. The only thing I don't like about this bathroom, if I had to think of a negative, is the space, the counter space. Um, there's really not a whole lot of space to put my makeup, so um, that's the only thing. But other than that, I love the bathroom. It's a great, cute, vintage bathroom. Okay, so then, of course, there's um, a safe. Um, they have tea. Here, they also, they also have wine glasses there. Um, an iron, an iron board. Um, this is our flat, this is straight, a flat iron, but they do give you a blow dryer. Um, I did use the iron, works great. There's the ironing board. We've already hung up all our coats. Uh, they give you two slippers. I'm using one of them. Crystal's like, I don't need to use slippers, so. Um, and I'm also using the robe, and there's an extra robe, but Crystal's like, I don't need a robe. Crystal doesn't need robe and slippers, like I do, <laughs> so. I noticed when I was in the bathroom, I was like, there's no plugs. So I was like, how am I gonna dry my hair? Um, and I was looking around for a while, I'm like, where is the plug? Um, I wish they had a sign, but I did find it. So on the bottom of this, there is one plug. So uh, if you need to blow dry your hair, this is where you do it, not in the bathroom because there's no, there's like a plug there for a shaver, but that's like a different plug. So you can't use that for the blow dryer. So that's what this is here for. And for uh, those of us or those of you who like to do yoga, uh, they actually have a yoga mat. And I don't even know if there's room in here to do yoga, but Maybe if you're a true yogi, there are, I mean, you don't really need much space. I don't know, I'm not really good at yoga, so. <laughs> so this is our bedroom. Uh, when we initially walked in, cause it's like a narrow hallway. When you walk in, it seems like it's just this bed right here, but then we see that it extends more. So we're like, oh, that's a lot of room. And then we also have another room over there, but I'll go there in a second. Um, we slept last night very comfortably. We think that these rooms, the windows are soundproof because we're next to a pretty busy square. It's, we're actually in the Russell Square location and 
there's a lot of you know cars going going by or buses people walking around but we heard none of that uh you get a nice reading lamp here you don't want to bother your roommate and get these cool phones i love red phones they like made it old school too uh, also, if you want to purchase one of these red phones, they have it for sale downstairs. They have two plugs here, and they also have USB chargers, uh, which I'm charging my phone right now. And you just turn on these, these guys, and they'll show you that it's charging with that red light. Oh, also, if you do forget a converter, they provide you one in the drawer down here. So this is what their converters look like. Make sure you get one of these. I almost forgot to bring one, so Candy reminded me. If she didn't come with me, I probably wouldn't have had one, but at least the hotel has one just for people like me. This is Candy's side. I'm using this side, Candy's using this side. And on her side, she has a big TV. And same thing, she has a drawer over there and some plugs, USB chargers. Same deal. And then over here is our little living room. Isn't this cute? We actually used it last night as a little dining room um, because there's lots of great restaurants around here. Restaurants meaning like fast food type of places. So there's pizza, there's tacos and burritos, there's Asian, um, all where you could take home. They call it takeaway. <laughs> so you can take it to go or you can eat it there. Um, so Candy and I, I got the burrito and Candy got some pizza. And um, it's called Franco Manca is the pizza place. There was a lot of people there yesterday, so we think it's a pretty popular place. And they made Candy's pizza in a heart shape, which I thought was really cute. And the burrito place was pretty good too. If you wanna save some money, those are some great places to go because our uh, meal was probably six to seven pounds each which isn't that bad. So here is our balcony. We can't actually go out and step out into it, but if you wanted some fresh air, you can open this. So this is where it's um, soundproof because there's a sliding door here and then you have to open this part. So this is actually probably the, the original part of the hotel because um, it looks it looks like it's painted over and it still looks old and like this part is probably redone, but um, you just push this and then it has like a little, locking system on the bottom where you can't open it anymore but right across over there is russell square and it is actually really nice today is 64 degrees and the air coming in is really nice so if you just wanted some fresh air this is a great way too or if you want to hear some london ambience you can open the door um so yeah i think originally oops originally when you shut the door it was just this without this sliding door part so I don't think it was that soundproof before, but now that they've added this, it makes it really soundproof. So, which is really thoughtful of Kempton. Video, but I just went to the bathroom and because this is an um, older building that's been restored they try to keep a lot of the original fixtures or they try to keep the fixtures um, when they redo it kind of similar to the old school style so the bathroom is very old school and I wanted to show you this is the old school toilet like you actually have to flush it like this. But, and even the sink, they kind of kept it kind of original with the hot and water. And I also like how the sink is in your own stall. I feel like a lot of the places I've been into London, the sink is in the bathroom stall, which kind of have like privacy, I feel like. But it's probably because a lot of the bathrooms are men and women. So, we didn't bring any gym clothes, but uh, this gym here is pretty amazing for a hotel gym. Usually the hotel gyms are tiny and there's not a whole lot of equipment, but they've got three treadmills. Usually there's only like one or two at a hotel. And usually like 
This is the size, but there's two sections, and they've got really heavy um, weights. Usually it's like not too heavy, like, but they have two different sets, like a really heavy set, a smaller set, and they give you apples. <laughs> I've never seen a gym offer apples. <laughs> Towels. Um, I feel like, hey, I should have brought my gym clothes to work out. <laughs> The Kimpton Fitzroy London Hotel has come to an end. <laughs> it has. I really liked my stay here. Um, one, that it was super convenient um, for everything we did around mm -hmm. London because the, the train station or the underground is basically like right next door. Yeah, so, it's right around the corner. Right around the corner. So it was, yeah, just wake up and then get on the train. Mm -hmm. Like it was very central to everything, but. Yeah. You know, you still have some food options nearby and cheap food options too. Our fast food was probably around six to eight pounds a meal. Yeah. And they have and lots they have, of options. And they're good meals too. They yeah. Were, they, it wasn't like McDonald's or anything, like mm -hmm. actual like ho um, homemade pizza. What else was there? They had tacos and burritos, yes. which was probably my favorite. Um, they even had like a Japanese store where you can buy rice balls and um, rice di rice bowls. They have curry, um, katsu. Curry. They have sushi too. Yeah, they have sushi. It's called wasabi, I believe. <laughs> and there's also then right across the street from the uh, underground is a convenience store. Mm -hmm. So that's that was awesome too. So yeah. if we wanted to buy water or just light bites um, on the go, like mm -hmm. granola bars or something, or medication, um, like very standard medication or ones you know like. Ibuprofen and stuff like that, like you can get there. So yeah, it's like a very convenient location. Very convenient. And right, at, and then on the cross street on the other side is this really nice park, mm -hmm. um, Russell Square Park, and it's a really nice place to just hang out and relax if you're into that. We went there, and a lot of locals were just hanging out. Yeah, taking a like, stroll, sitting on the bench, taking sitting on the ground. Yeah, and there's like a small water fountain there. Mm -hmm. So lots of great things about this hotel that we'd like to talk yeah. about. Um, <laughs> There's so many that I don't know if we're good, we can mention all of them. I know. I'm probably going to forget to mention some things. Yeah. Um, I mean, as soon as we um, walked in, they greeted us. They were super friendly, um, showed us to the, um, the front desk. Uh, the concierge was super friendly. We really mm -hmm. liked Paul. Um, he was so excited to show us around the hotel because yeah. this is a very historic hotel. Um, so, you know, he, he even took us upstairs and was like, oh, you got to check this mm -hmm. out. Um, and gave us information on like the marble because this is a this building's over a hundred years old. Mm -hmm. I was actually pretty amazed by the stained glass. It was it's still the original stained glass. Yeah, the glass. stained glass and the yeah. red marble is all original. All original. They have a couple of dining options within the hotel. Mm -hmm. They have this cafe downstairs that's really nice. We love the decor of it, and they serve really healthy foods. Um, and it's open to the general public too. Mm -hmm. It's not just for hotel yeah. guests. Great food selections, very healthy. I think they had like yogurt um, on the menu for, for breakfast. We actually got toast and eggs, which is, we just like simple stuff like that, and the eggs were so good. It was phenomenal. <laughs> it was and so good. Going back to the room, another service that they have is turn down service. So every night, I would say around eight ish, they would come by and check up on you to see if you needed any more. Towels, I mean, they'll make up the room for you, again, if you're not in the room, but yeah. we happen to always be in the room and ask if, if we needed anything, and they always gave us two bottles of water, and if we needed extra towels or anything else, they would, you know, give us anything yeah. that we needed. I want to thank IHG for this wonderful stay. We couldn't ask for a better hotel to stay in in London. Oh yeah, this was um, perfect. It was classy. <laughs> It had um, character, mm -hmm. the staff was amazing and friendly every day. Um, yeah, I just can't say, I mean, the convenience of the right. location, it was it was awesome. A top-notch experience for sure. One of the best hotels we've stayed at. Yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.